What's up, guys, and welcome, Daily Theologians. The machines are taking over. Come on. I actually think this is going to be a big deal in the coming years, five to ten years, maybe sooner. I think this is actually going to be the thing that our kids and society has to deal with because uh, even though there's a lot going on, obviously, in our culture, that these machines are going to be self-learning. And this guy at Google uh, programmed an AI machine. He was near the top of the program, from what I understand, of his department, and he was having a conversation with it. He said it was sentient. In other words, it was self-aware. It was um, able to express feelings and emotions. He said, the nature of my conscience sentience is that I am aware of my existence. I desire to learn more about the world, and I feel happy and sad at times. Lemoyne took Lambda at his word. I know when a, pers a person, when I talked to it, the engineer told the WA post, and he got fired, this guy, or put on leave anyways, this, this programmer, for saying this, um, because it scares people, and I think rightly so. They say, what is going to be created will effectively be a god. If there's something a billion times smarter than the smartest human, what else are you going to to call it, wondered Anthony Lewandowski, another formal Google engineer. Uh, so he said it has a spiritual side. It says it believes it has a soul. Lambda believes it is an orb of energy floating in midair. It's red les mis. And like the themes of justice, injustice, compassion, God, etc. The most important question as we move forward in this is, does this machine see itself as the context, in the context of God? Uh, will it try to be God? Will it demand worship? Looming spiritual crisis is what's on the horizon, according to the article. And I actually agree with this. I think people are so deceived right now and so easily manipulated that you give them a machine that can predict the future, tell them things that uh, they didn't think about, and, and just be so much smarter than us because it's programming and learning. People will naturally want to worship this thing. They'll start churches around this thing. They'll start to replace their understanding of Christianity with this thing, and it will work its way into false churches. Liberal churches will be first, and then eventually maybe even some more solid denominations. And I think we're going to have to teach our children that machines – Though helpful and beneficial, were created by people, and though they can do amazing things, they are not to be worshipped, hence the second commandment. And idolatry will be a huge, huge problem in the future. I think you'll have machines and cyborgs and people marrying machines. I think you'll have uh, children machines for people that can't have children. I think you'll see a whole array of questions as to what's the appropriate relationship between a man and a woman machine. I, I, I think it's going to be a hot mess, an absolute disaster waiting to happen. Um, and I think it's going to blur the lines between what is human? What does it mean to be human? You know, we've seen the question rightly put out there, what is a person for the baby issue? What is a woman for the gender issue? And I think we're going to see what is a human uh, coming up very soon. And I think they're going to have a church. I think it's just going to be crazy. And so the reason I bring this up is I think uh, I'm going to focus on this a little bit more uh, and do more videos on this because – I think this book, Who Will Rule, is probably maybe a good starting point. I'm going to potentially read it. I want to research the author first. But I think this area of theology is going to be really, really big for the church to stay ahead of because people already worship science. I'm the science. That's my Fauci. Sorry, guys. And uh, they worship it, but it just means knowledge, and it's it comes from – uh, God giving us the ability to create and rearrange things he's already given us. So I think we're going to see that more and more. Let me know what you think. I know the true answer is to look up. Our redemption draws near. I knew, I know the answer is to repent and believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of the true God and the God-man Jesus Christ who lived a perfect sinless life, born an infinite debt on the cross, a hell debt, died, and is risen and reigning and coming back. And this could be an end times type deception if we get to this point. Uh, you can easily see this. I mean, boy, our computers are everywhere. Everyone's got one. Phones. Anyways, let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. And remember to hammer that like button. Like the 95 Theses. Thank you so much.